Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And today I'm going to be trying out the Fenty Beauty bronzers. Now, this product has been, you know, everybody hyped it up, of course, um, just because it's Fenty. Everybody loves Rihanna. Um, but I really was hyping it up only because bronzers and contour shades and deeper skin tones are absolutely like there there is not many companies that comes out with like an inclusive range of contour and bronzer shades for deeper skin tones so that's exactly why i decided to purchase this product so i purchased the bronzer in the shade coco naughty and this is like the second to last shade in the collection so i was a little scared because when you look at this i'm like oh my gosh is it really gonna show up like does it it doesn't look like it's gonna show up so i was like okay i'm a little nervous so this retails for 30 dollars um with tax it came up to like about 32 dollars and change so i'm not gonna say that it's not expensive to me this is expensive as a bronzer because there's different companies not saying there's a lot but there's certain companies like milani or black radiance where you can get contour and or bronzer shades for a cheaper price even covergirl like their ebony bronzer has to be like eight dollars nine dollars so this is a little bit steep um so i was just like eek, 32 dollars i know it's not inexpensive um but i think that the packaging definitely makes up for it it's like this nice gold rose gold um type of plating and then when you go on the inside it has like a nice mirror um and then also the product so i think that is really pretty packaging and that's what makes it costly and i'm a packaging craze so i'm not mad at now so far on my face i just wore the fenty foundation um i did my brows I put on some mascara and I usually just reverse contour under like you know where I would actually put like my bronzer I like to do that before I apply product so we're just all caught up into like the bronzer stage so I'm gonna take an angle brush here this is like an angle brush that I like to bronze with and it does have product on it because I tried this product yesterday I'm not gonna lie I was like listen because if it doesn't work it's going back to the store today um, so I'm going to take the shade and I'm just going to apply it I'm just gonna see how it works Okay, so if you look at the bronzer, I think yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little salty about it, only because I was looking at it like it's a contour shade. So like contour is different than bronzing. So when I think about bronzing, I think about warming up the skin, I think about just having like a sun-kissed look, whereas contour is darker because it's used for more sculpting purposes, like putting shadows in your face, which then changes like um, your face shape and everything. So I was like, okay, is this product doing what it's supposed to do, basically? Because I don't want to, I don't want it to, I don't want to judge it against something like contour because that's not what bronzing is supposed to do. So I think that this product really does what it's supposed to. If you look at my skin, it did give like a nice warmth to it. Um, and yeah, I don't feel like it didn't do what it's supposed to do. I also love the shade. It was like it's a mix of like brown warm brown tones like and it's perfect for my skin tone as well nothing too dramatic and it's very very subtle so i'm just going to go in with um, my powder that's usually what i do to clean up and just to give me a little chisel chisel um and then we're going to talk about the product so like i said i like to chisel my bronzer or contour whatever i decide to do for the day out So I'm gonna just add a little highlight just because a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. Yep, so this is the completed look. 
Okay, so let's talk about this bronzer. So from the packaging, I just love it. I feel like the packaging is sleek. It's so like easy to travel with. And like the mirror is like clutch. Fenty Beauty logo ingrained in um, the actual product. I felt like that was really, really cute. So I get the packaging 10 out of 10. Like it's super cute to me. And I feel like it's more so like my style, very sleek, but a little bit of edgy. Um, so yeah, I like that. Um, as far as the actual product, I feel like the product does what it should be doing. Like when I think about the bronzers, like I said, it's to warm up the skin. Did it warm up my skin? Yes. I felt like it wasn't, um, it was the correct undertone, it was nice and red, but it's mixed with like brown tone, so it didn't make my skin look like, you know, I'm putting on blush <laughs> to use um, as bronzer, so I feel like they got the undertones right. Um, can I, do I think that a less, in it, like an inexpensive product can do the same thing? Yes. So would I run and repurchase this? No. Um, I haven't used it for that long. I used it for like two days or whatever. But I don't right now, for right now, I do not see myself like going to the store like, oh my gosh, I need to re-up or have a double of this product. Another thing that I want to talk about is, yes, this product is buildable, but do I really want to just dip my brush in a thousand times to build it up when I can just get one, get the same saturation from another product just with one swipe, you know? So it's okay. I'm not going to like amp it up or hype it up for you guys if it's not something that you need to purchase someone like my skin tone this is how it looks and it's just okay i don't think that you need to rush and get it and i'll see you in my next one bye guys